What's up G's, it's G-Boy, I'm back with another video, and today I'm reacting to the Mortal Kombat 1 official announcement trailer. Not Mortal Kombat 12, apparently. If you guys know me, you know I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat, so to finally get an announcement trailer is, is awesome. Uh, I mean, I can't wait to see what it's all about and what the mechanics are. I mean, they have to reveal at least one character, right? Yeah. I'm super curious as to... Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> you guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. I just woke up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Let's start this. Okay. It is time. Yeah, it's time. My boy Liu Kang. Time Raiden? to wake up. Or to a new reality. To a blank canvas that <sighs> I have painted this in looks with so warmth good. and peace. I know that this is just a cinematic era, trailer, but this is crazy. Is yours. Oh shit, come loud. Or bloody strife. Katana, oh that's so fire. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. Oh shit. You Scorpion? Each other. Yeah. Oh shit! As enemies. Fire. Or united as brothers. Yeah. But a storm is brewing, and soon you will discover. Okay. That even in this, this looks fire. Era, one constant remains. Shang Tsung. Yep. There is always something worth fighting for. Yeah. Damn. Oh, you have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. That's fire. Literally. It's in our blood, September 19th! Oh my gosh, bro. Pre-order to get Shang Tsung. Wow. It's 8 o'clock. Fucking get on my face, Dynasty. <laughs> okay, that was the Mortal Kombat 1 official announcement trailer. Now, my thoughts. I mean, like, how are they gonna make that realistic ass looking trailer into a game i this is actually crazy bro we got some character reveals so that's fire it, it's interesting because it's like it definitely looks like it's taking place like years ago like centuries ago or whatever but like not really I don't know. It, it's weird. So I'm, I'm going to try to break this down as best as possible. We got Liu Kang right here. I think that's Liu Kang. I could be wrong. Um, That's got to be Raiden, right? Raiden looks young if that's Raiden. Now in this game, I'm pretty sure Raiden's supposed to play like the Liu Kang role almost. As in like the companion to Kung Lao. Which speaking of Kung Lao, we got Kung Lao right here. These almost look like they're probably metahumans. If you guys don't know what metahumans are, they're like super realistic uh, preset player models that you can get that are free and you can use with like Unreal Engine. Which speaking of Unreal Engine, I wonder what uh, version of Unreal Engine they're going to use for this game. 
because they could use four. I feel like I don't know if they would can use five since it's so new. And I don't know if they were using five back then or if they got early access to it or something. So it's going to be interesting to find out what version of Unreal Engine it's going to be made in. So we got Raiden and Kung Lao facing off here. We got Katana and Melina and Scorpion and Sub-Zero. These costumes, I don't know how I feel about these costumes. But they look a bit similar, don't they? They look like almost to the T similar, except for the color. Yeah, and I mean, obviously they're like teaming up, right? Everyone, all these guys are teaming up to fight Shang Tsung, I guess. Which, yo, this is actually kind of fire because if you guys played uh, MK11 or know the end of the MK11 Aftermath DLC, you know that it sort of splits off the t into two timelines. There's the Liu Kang timeline and the Shang Tsung timeline. And I'm wondering, and this is crazy if this is the case, I'm wondering if it's going to be like both timelines. It's going to be the Liu Kang timeline and the Shang Tsung timeline. And the Shang Tsung goes into the Liu Kang timeline and Liu Kang kill Shang Tsung like how he did in this trailer so it's like just confirming that it's the Liu Kang timeline this is interesting yeah so Liu Kang meets up with Raiden and Kung Lao Shang Tsung pops out fights everyone who is that that he's fighting right now okay <laughs> So I think it just killed Scorpion and Melina right there. Uh, wait, let me see Melina's. Uh, fighting for. Look. Yeah, so it looks. Jeez, that's a crazy pause right there. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're kind of going for the Melina look from uh MK11 with like the shaved side or shaved sides. He takes Kung Lao's soul right there. Liu Kang's like, nah, nah fam, you're not about to just do that. You're not about to just come into my timeline and do that. And then he fucking, oh my god, and then he fatality said right here. This... That's like some, uh, fucking 2012 red fire, blue fire profile picture shit. Oh my god. That reminds me of the Triborg fatality. Where two of the robots grab his arm and one of them, I think it's Sector, he like fucking uppercuts him and takes off his head and goes to the ground and like shows it off and shit. That's what that reminds me of. I'm wondering if Liu Kang's gonna have the lightning powers in this one. He's still gotta be fire god Liu Kang, right? I mean, he was saying you're messing with a god or whatever. He's got the glowing tattoos. He doesn't seem to have the gray hair, though. Yeah, this is fire. This is fire. It's so interesting. And, bro, another thing that I noticed first off was that... Kung Lao's hat isn't, like, razor sharp. It's, like, made out of some kind of, like, some kind of material that isn't made out of metal, right? How's it supposed to cut people with that? But, I mean, it's Kung Lao. He'll find a way to cut people with that hat, even if it's not sharp. Yeah, man. This is crazy. Katana and Melina are, like, wearing the super royal look. This fire. We got our first look at Outworld. I'm pretty sure this is Outworld. This shit looks fire. It doesn't look like any Outworld I've seen. It looks actually pretty elegant. Or maybe it's a Denia, but I don't, I don't think it's a Denia. So yeah, we got Scorpion and Sub-Zero here. Like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about the Scorpion and Sub-Zero designs. But I mean, I guess it's them before they were like... I guess it's Scorpion before he was like a uh, Spectre or whatever. And Sub-Zero, I guess, is just Sub-Zero. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I don't really like the hair outlook. I know they did that in Mortal Kombat 11. And I guess if they're going to do the hair outlook, I would rather them not have the mask. But I don't know. But yeah, it's cool. It looks like they're going to reverse the timeline once again. 30 years of Mortal Kombat and 
two reboots. That's crazy. I also just recently watched the Snowblind movie. And that was pretty good. That was a really good movie. But yeah, I mean, we finish off the trailer with pre-order to get Shang Tsung and beta access. Pre-order on... Pre-order tomorrow. Okay, that's crazy. Let me take a look at uh, Shang Tsung's fit. Let's get a fit check on Shang Tsung, please. I mean, that looks like Shang Tsung. Goes in war with a god. That <laughs> shit's fire. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. This is... This game's gonna be fire. That's for sure. With a trailer like this, there's no way it's gonna be bad. Come on. I wonder if they're gonna add running into the game. Because that was a mechanic that they left out of Mortal Kombat 11 that a lot of people didn't really like was taking out the running. I personally don't really care. I'm not really, I, when I played MKX, I wasn't really like running like that in the game. So I don't know. Also, oh my God, bro. Imagine they have like a story mode that like is open world or something. Oh my gosh, bro, that would be fire. I'm guessing this is showing off like multiple levels, right? Like obviously you got this first level, which is like the field. You got the second level, which is probably like the outworld carriage or whatever you got this third uh level which is like someone's uh house in like japan or some shit probably scorpion's house right because he's the one that's japanese i mean yeah that that basically confirms like what one two three four five six seven eight characters that confirms eight characters and it looks like this uh probably gonna be a map also right this dark area or I guess the field, but just dark. So that's like four maps confirmed, maybe three and eight characters. Yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on this game. I'm also curious as to know whether they are using metahumans for the characters or if they're using real life people models or if they're doing both. Because you, you can technically do both. You can, like, scan someone's face and use MetaHuman to, like, shape their face and shit. I mean, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna watch some other reaction videos on this and then edit this video and upload it probably the same day. If you guys are also a fan of Mortal Kombat, you can check out my Mortal Kombat playlist when it pops up. And also, I've done other reaction videos in the past, but... Also, I've done other reaction videos in the past. Probably not as good as this one. But yeah, if you guys want to watch those for whatever reason, those will also pop up in the outro. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching this. And peace.